Good morning, everybody. So my mom does this really adorable thing at Christmas where she buys all of us um, matching pajamas. So this is my matching pajamas. And I'm wearing it this morning because it's really, really cold. So myself and my lovely assistant, well, assistant Kitty Astro, are gonna do some yoga this morning with you guys. Oh, so please come and join me on your mats. Oh, I just had a miracle happen. Um, last year, there's a woman that I met in a community. Uh, the community is run by Melanie Ann Lair. Her name is Matanya. And she posted this gorgeous picture of this woman standing with like a big black panther with green eyes in front of the pyramids. And I looked at it and I thought to myself, oh my God, that's Hathor. And Hathor is an Egyptian goddess that I have been connected to in this lifetime since 1996 and been channeling her since 2017. So I reached out to the artist and I said, that's a painting of Hathor and I'm being told that I should buy it from you. And uh, <laughs> she says, let me talk to the painting. So she talked to the painting and the painting does confirm that she's indeed Hathor. And uh, anyway, so I end up buying the painting and I have it here in my home and it's just extraordinary. So then I see her several months later painting a painting and I go, oh my God, that's Mary Magdalene. And I channel Mary Magdalene. And uh, she goes, let me talk to the painting. So she talks to the painting and she goes, it's Mary Magdalene. And I said, I'd like to buy her as well. So after she finished Magdalene, um, I, I also channel Jesus. So he says, tell her to paint me next. And I said, I'd like to commission you to do a painting of Jesus. And so she starts this painting last year. And then she was told to stop painting the painting. And I have art hanging all throughout my home. And right before my bedroom, I have this walkway and there's nothing on either wall. And I always thought, that's really weird. Why am I put anything up there? And uh, so I call him Yeshua. He says to me um, that because uh, Magdalene's gonna be on one side and I'm gonna be on the other. So I, was, I recently had a retreat in, uh, in Virginia Beach and I took the painting of Magdalene and um, there was a student there that needed to spend some time with her. So I lent him the painting of her and was told that she would come back to me when uh, the Yeshua painting was ready to come. And Matanya lives in the Netherlands, so it's not like, you know, a friend locally who's dropping it off. There's a whole shipping thing and FedEx and all this stuff. Anyway, so Matanya said, for some reason, she was told to stop painting Yeshua for a while. And uh, so Bernie has the painting of Magdalene. I'm upgrading, Matanya's upgrading, and she just came to me this morning with the finished painting, and oh my God, is it stunning. I can't wait to share it with you guys. So by Valentine's Day, I'll get the painting back from Bernie of Magdalene. The painting of Yeshua will come from Matanya, and uh, I'll have all three paintings in my home. To be able to have paintings of the beings that you channel is like, it's just, it's mind blowing to me. Yeshua literally has light coming out of his hands and this whole radiance above his head. And uh, she painted his eyes brown and those were actually the color of his eyes. So I'm very, very excited. Astro. What are you doing, little boy? Hi. You gonna come join us for yoga today? So here we have Astro, my yoga assistant. Yeah. I put this flea treatment on him that the doctor had sent me and his hair is falling out. It's a poor little traumatized boy. Hi. Hi. All right. So let us start on our yoga journey today. Um, why don't we start in seated? But since we were there, since I was there, we'll do some stretching, some beautiful stretching. Okay. Allow yourself to come to seated on your mat and just notice where you are in time and space. Take a nice deep breath in. Oh, and with your exhale, just allow yourself to Feel your body, to feel where you are. Mm. 
feel where there might be any tightness. Feel where there might be any openness. Scrunch your shoulders all the way up near your ears and then bring them back and down. Once again, take an inhale in, scrunch your shoulders all the way up near your ears and then bring them back and down on your exhale. Oof, gorgeous. Once more, take an inhale in, scrunch them up and then exhale back and down. Gorgeous. <sighs> Every time that I yawn, I'm inhaling, I'm bringing breath into my body. It feels amazing. Mm. Take a nice inhale in, rise your arms, raise your arms up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, bring your hands right down center line to your heart. Let's do that again. <sighs> Take another inhale in, raise your arms up towards the sky, lift your head, and then exhale, come back down. Beautiful. See if you can allow your movement to be in concert with your breath. So inhale your arms up, feel them floating on the breath. Take a nice stretch and then exhale and let the hands float right down the center line of the body as they come to the heart. Beautiful. <sighs> Place that right hand on the mat next to you. Take an inhale in and as you do, lift that left arm up and bend over to the right side, keeping a bend in that right elbow feeling a nice stretch and opening on the left. If you like, you can look up towards the ceiling. Take another inhale in. Exhale, bend to the right a little more deeply. Take another inhale in, come up a little, and then exhale and bend. Beautiful. Take another inhale in, rise back up to seated. Both hands on the mat. Feel the difference in the sides of the body. Our body's opening, oxygen's coming into all the organs. Place that left hand on the mat. Inhale that right arm up. And then bend over to the left. Take an in, another inhale and extend a little. And then exhale, bend a little further. Keep that left elbow bent. Take another inhale in, extend a little, and then exhale even more deeply, feeling that beautiful stretch on the right side of the body as it opens up. Take another inhale as you exhale, come back to center. Oh. Oh. Feel that oxygen pumping through the body. Beautiful. Let's do a little twisting. Take an inhale and bring that right hand behind you. Take another inhale in and on that exhale, bring that left hand over that right knee. Take an inhale in, extend up and then exhale, twist. Another inhale, extend up, exhale, twist. Another inhale up, exhale, twist. You want to keep that spine as straight as possible as you twist. Beautiful. Another inhale in. Exhale, come back to the center. Oh boy. He's definitely one of my favorite beings, this little astro cat. Okay, let's twist to the left. Take an inhale in. With your exhale, plant that left hand the four fingers pointing away from the body and the thumb pointing towards the body. Take another inhale. On your exhale, bring that right hand over that neck, left knee. Take an inhale, extend up, exhale, twist. Beautiful. Take another inhale, extend up, exhale, twist. Keep that back, that spine as straight as possible. Take another inhale, 
exhale, twist to the left. You can use the right hand against the left knee as leverage. Take an inhale in, exhale. Come back to the center. I had some nuts late last night, some macadamia nuts, and they give me the most incredible energy. I was up late. Hmm. Feeling a little fatigued this morning. Okay, let's extend our legs out in front of us. You can move any flesh that you need to away from your sits bones. We're going to hinge at the waist as we fold forward. So take an inhale, bring your arms up, and then as you exhale, extend forward and let your hands come to wherever they feel comfortable, hinging at the waist, not stretching and hurting yourself. You'll feel a nice stretch in the hamstrings in the back. As you hinge from the waist, your hands may come to your thighs, they may come to your knees, they may come to your shins, to your ankles or to your toes. Just notice where you are with your flexibility today. It's you and your body. Oh, that's the only energy you ever have to answer to. Take another inhale, exhale, forward fold. Take another inhale, exhale, forward fold. And just notice that each time you can bend a little further. Beautiful. Take another inhale, push yourself back up to seated. your legs. Excuse me, catechus. Okay. Keep your feet flexed. Take an inhale in. Fold forward into the middle. See how closely you can come to the ground. Again, hinging at the waist. That's okay, boy. Take another inhale in. Exhale, forward fold. One more inhale in, exhale, forward fold. Right. Smelling myself. Take another inhale in. On your exhale, come back to center. Turn and face your right leg. Take an inhale in, exhale, forward fold over that leg. Saying hi to the knees, the shins, the ankles the toes. I still have little red toes from Christmas. Take another inhale in. Exhale, forward fold. Take another inhale in. Exhale, forward fold. Beautiful. Take another inhale in. On your exhale, come back to the center. Inhale and then exhale. Fold into the middle. Take another inhale in. Exhale. Come back to the center. And then turn and face that left leg. Take an inhale in. Exhale. Forward fold. Good. I don't mean to impede your cleansing. Another inhale, exhale, forward fold. Oh gosh, clumps in here. Take another inhale, exhale, forward fold. Feel that beautiful stretch in the hamstrings. At least I do. Take another inhale, come back to the center. Bring those feet together. Move them as close to the body as you can. Heels, soles of the feet touching. You can rock back and forth. And then you can use your elbows as leverage to press down on the knees and you'll feel a nice stretching on the inside of the thighs. Take an inhale in, exhale, forward fold. If you haven't figured it out by now, the breath is the most important part of yoga. All of this stretching and twisting and 
such was created through British gymnastics. They created all of the different types of asanas, the seated poses that we have, the standing poses that we have, the balancing poses that we have. And all it was meant to do was to prepare people for meditation. Take another inhale in, exhale, forward fold. Take another inhale in, exhale, forward fold a little more deeply. Take another inhale in, come back up to seated, bring your knees together, and let's move on to hands and knees. It was so cute. My mother has a picture of all of us with our matching pajamas. It's so adorable. Old Navy. Oh, let's do a series of cat cow stretches. So spread your fingers broadly, let your hands be underneath your shoulders. Let the weight be in the palms. Keep those fingers flexed and moving. Let your toes be flat on the floor and let your knees be underneath your hips. Take an inhale in, fill the belly, lift the head, and then as you exhale, tuck the head, round the back, tuck the tailbone under. Take another beautiful inhale in, drop the belly, and then exhale, tuck the head, Lift that belly up toward the spine as you exhale. Take another beautiful inhale in. Fill the belly. And then exhale. Drop the head. Tuck the tailbone under. Come back to child's pose. Take an inhale in. And then as you exhale, lower your buttocks to your heels. Extend your arms out in front of you little bits of cat all over my mat, and then lower your head to the mat. You should feel a really nice broadening and lengthening in the lower back as you settle down into child's pose. Take an inhale in, come back up to hands and knees. Oh. Tuck the toes under. We're going to push up and back for downward dog. Take an inhale in. On your exhale, push up and back. Bring your chest towards your feet. Pushing down through the palms of the hands. You can go ahead and bicycle your knees. Take an inhale in. On your exhale, lower down to hands and knees. Take an inhale in. Exhale back to child's pose. Take another inhale in. On your exhale, come back up to hands and knees. Tuck your toes under. Take an inhale. And on your exhale, push up and back for downward dog. Beautiful. Take another inhale. On your exhale, once again, drop to hands and knees. Take another inhale. And on your exhale, push back for child's pose. Take another inhale. On your exhale, push back up flat to tabletop. Take an inhale in, tuck your toes under, and then push up and back for downward dog. And we'll take three breaths here. Continue to push through the palms of the hands, moving your chest towards your feet. One more inhale in. On your exhale, begin to walk your feet up towards your hands. Take an inhale in. Come halfway up. Extend the chest. Flat back. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, fold back down. Take another inhale. As you exhale, lift your arms up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, come to the side of the mat. Beautiful. 
Oh, man. <laughs> God, I love yoga. Love. Love, love. Okay. Let's do some standing poses. Every year my mom gets us different pajamas. One year she got us these pajamas and she goes, look, look, there's camels on the pajamas. I said, mom, those aren't camels, those are llamas. And she goes, I bought llama pajamas. <laughs> Very fun. Very fun. Okay. Oh, allow yourself to stand in time and space. Feel your feet flat on the mat. Let your arms drop down, let your palms face forward for Tadasana, mountain pose. See if you can allow yourself to be still like a mountain as you balance on the mat. Allow your knees to be above your ankles, your hips to be above your knees, your ribs to be above your hips, your shoulders to be above your ribs, and feel your head just floating on your body as you drift in time and space. Take a beautiful inhale in. On your exhale, bring your arms up towards the sky. Take another inhale in. And then as you exhale, lower those hands right down the middle line of the body, the shashumna, right to your heart. Take another inhale in. Lift your arms up towards the sky. Take an exhale right down the center line. Take another inhale in arms up towards the sky. This time, exhale and forward fold, bringing your hands as close as you can to the ground. Take an inhale in, extend your chest, exhale, forward fold. Take another inhale in, rise to standing, arms up towards the sky, and then exhale your hands to your heart. Let your hands fall down at the side. Feel the energy that is rushing through your body, coursing through your body. Mm. Take another inhale in, arms up towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold, swan dive down towards the ground. Hinge at the waist. Take an inhale in, come halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Walk your hands over to the right side of your right foot. Take an inhale in, on your exhale, come back to the center. Take another inhale in, walk your hands over to the left side of the left foot. Take another inhale in, exhale, come back to the center. Take another inhale in, and on your exhale, nice. rise to standing. Oh, hands up towards the sky. Exhale the hands back down to the center line. Gorgeous. I think my cat needs some water. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh, I've been eating this raw vegan diet and I've taken my blood sugar from 300 down to 117. And it's not only the fact that I'm eating this raw vegan diet now, which has taken out all processed food, flour, sugar, pork, corn, dairy, meat, egg. But also yoga, it's been such an important part of this journey for me, really incredible. Hmm. Take your right foot, point it towards the top of the mat, bring your left foot behind you about three feet apart, turn that left foot at about a 45 degree angle, Turn and face the front of the mat. Take an inhale in. On your exhale, bend that right knee towards the little toe side of the foot, pinky toe side of the foot. Raise those arms up. Take an inhale in. As you exhale, see if you can sink a little more deeply into this pose. Keep those toes loose. Take another inhale in. Exhale, bend a little more deeply. Gorgeous. Take another inhale. On your exhale, open up to warrior two. 
With warrior two, your hips will turn towards the side of the mat. The knee comes towards the little toe side of the foot. You extend the arms out to the side and look towards the right, towards the front of your mat. Take another inhale in here. Exhale a little more deeply. You never want to let that knee go beyond the ankle because you don't want to hurt yourself. Take another inhale in. Exhale a little more deeply. Beautiful. Keep that core engaged the entire time. Take another inhale in, exhale both feet parallel to each other on the mat, about three feet apart. <sighs> Take another inhale, turn that left foot towards the back of the mat, swivel that right foot so it's at about a 45 degree angle. You want that foot to go, for the heel of the right foot would bisect the middle of the back foot. Take an inhale in, turn the hips towards the back of the mat, as you exhale, bend that left knee, inhale the arms up, warrior one. Take another inhale, exhale, bend a little more deeply. Keep a bend, keep a bend in those knees. Take another inhale in, exhale a little more deeply. Gorgeous. One more inhale on your exhale, position yourself for warrior two. Turn the hips towards the side of the mat. Take an inhale in, bend that knee to the left, and then extend the arms both in front and in back of you, looking over towards the left. Keep that knee towards the little toe side of the foot. Take an inhale in, exhale, sink a little deeper. Take another inhale in, exhale, sink a little more deeply. Keep that core engaged. Beautiful. Take another inhale in, exhale, bring your feet parallel to each other about three feet apart. We're gonna do a nice forward fold. And Astro's back. Take an inhale in, on your exhale, fold forward on the mat, bringing your hands to the floor or as close as you can. Take that left hand and place it underneath the face. Take an inhale in and with your left Sorry, with your right arm, twist up towards the ceiling, keeping your back as flat as possible. Take another inhale in, exhale both hands back down to the floor. Place that right hand underneath the face. Take an inhale in, on your exhale, extend that left arm towards the ceiling. Feel a beautiful stretch in the spine. Take another inhale in, bring both hands to the mat. Walk the hands back, see if you can get the fingertips in alignment with the toes. Inhale, come halfway up, and then exhale, forward fold. Depending upon your flexibility, see how close you can get your head to the floor. Hmm. Take an inhale in, exhale, rise to standing. And then heel toe your feet back into the center. I have to put my hair up. Hmm. Feel all the movement in your body. Gorgeous. Take another inhale in. Exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. Keeping a bit of a bend in those knees. Inhale, come halfway up. And then exhale, forward fold. Beautiful. From here, why don't we come down to our backs on the mat. Hmm. Do a little floor work and call it a day. Oh. Let's try boat pose. Bring the feet flat on the mat. Engage your core and let yourself go back, arms extended in front of you. If you have the strength, you can bring your feet up, kind of resting on your tailbone. Take an inhale in and then exhale down with care. Beautiful. Oh. 
those heels back up towards the buttocks and we'll do some bridge pose. Take an inhale in on your exhale, rise your hips up towards the sky. Take an inhale in and then on your exhale, lower your hips back down to the mat. Take another inhale in on your exhale, lift those hips up towards the sky. Use the back of the arms as leverage, keep the buttocks loose. You're engaging the quads. Take another inhale in, exhale to the mat. Take another inhale on your exhale, lift those hips up. Feet planted firmly on the ground, engaging the quads, using the back of the arms as leverage, lifting the hips towards the sky. Take another inhale in and lower to the ground. Take another inhale and on your exhale, extend those legs up towards the ceiling. Feel as if those heels could literally walk on the ceiling above you. Take an inhale in and on your exhale, extend up towards the sky with your arms. Take another inhale, exhale, release back down. You're engaging your core as you do this. Take another inhale, extend up towards the sky. Take another inhale, release. One more inhale in, exhale, arms up. So your arms and your legs are raising up towards the sky. You're engaging your core. Inhale, exhale, release. Bring the feet down to the mat. Ah. Take an inhale in and on your exhale, bring your knees in towards the chest and roll your body from side to side, giving a really nice massage to that lower back. Beautiful. Take another inhale in. On your exhale, extend your arms out on either side of you. Then take another inhale and on your exhale, drop and roll your knees to the right. And as you do, make sure you're keeping that left shoulder on the mat. You can always take your right hand, hook it over your left thigh. Keep that left arm extended. Take another inhale, look to the left. Feel that nice deep twist in the spine. Take another inhale. On your exhale, bring your knees back to the center. One more inhale. On your exhale, extend that right arm. Drop those left knee, drop those knees to the left. Feeling a nice twist. Nice deep spinal twist. Take another inhale in. Exhale deeply. Look to the right. Take one more inhale. Bring those knees back to center. Drop those knees to the mat. Mm, gorgeous. Cross that right leg over the left knee, bringing the right angle to the left knee. Take an inhale in and on your exhale, bring that left knee towards the head, pushing that right knee away from you. You should feel a nice opening in the right hip. Take another inhale in, keep those feet flexed. Exhale, bring that knee back further, left knee towards you, right knee away from you. One more beautiful in, inhale in on your exhale, left knee towards you, right knee away from you. Keep those feet flexed. Breathe into any tightness. Take an inhale in, extend both legs up towards the ceiling. Lower that right foot to the mat, cross the left over it, left ankle to the top of the right knee. Take an inhale in, bring that right knee towards you and push that left knee away. Take another inhale in, right knee towards you, left knee away on the exhale. Another inhale in. Exhale, push that left knee away, right knee towards you. Take a breath in. Exhale into the hip. Feel it loosen and soften. 
just with the breath alone. Take another inhale in. On your exhale, extend both feet up towards the ceiling. Gorgeous. Lower your feet to the mat. Take an inhale in. Lower your legs to the floor. Gorgeous. Allow your feet to fall open about a foot apart. Let your hands go down to the mat, palms facing up. Take a beautiful breath in. And on your exhale, just let it all go. Oh. Another deep, beautiful inhale in through the nose. Exhale, release. One more beautiful breath in. Exhale, release. Thank yourself for coming and practicing Shalu Yoga today. This is a kindness that we can show to our body, our magnificent body that was given to us by Earthly Mother to have this existence here on Earth. Exhale, roll over to the right, and you can rest your arm on the inside of your right, you can rest your head on the inside of your right arm, bring your knees in towards the chest. Feel all of the movement, all the oxygen, all of the breath that you've brought to your body. We'll end with a chanting of Om three times, and a little prayer. Join me as I chant Om three times. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> oh. May your mind think loving thoughts for yourself and all of creation. May your lips speak loving words for yourself and all that exists. And may your heart carry a heart of kindness, compassion, love, and tenderness for yourself and all of life. I wish you the most glorious Sunday. Blessings to you. I love you guys and I'll see you again tomorrow. Namaste. Oh, thank you, everybody. See you tomorrow.